this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at Joe Mantastin, pick your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Navigator Nostril, climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to take that on our magic school bus. Drop the river of lava on the magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. Phew, what a landing. Well, now that you're here, type in your name, then click the go button. As an official member of the team, you'll need a crew pass. Click the eyes, cheeks, nose, and hair to change them. Click a number to enter your age and find out how old you'll be on Mars. When you're done, click the go button and we'll get underway. Go ahead, be daring. Try clicking the cheeks to change your skin. Now that's an interesting look. Now that's a face that could launch a thousand spaceships. A very original look. Welcome to our marvelous Mars module, where you can find go get 'em games and intriguing experiments. And to go outside and explore, there's always the door. Want to find out what happens to a marshmallow on Mars? Drag a food item into the pressureometer and watch the radical result. If you want to try a different place, click a picture below the pressureometer screen. This marshmallow's air bubbles expanded so much that they went kapow! Oh well, maybe we'll have pancakes instead. Woohoo! Watermelon! In the low air pressure of Mars, water evaporates in a flash. The air bubbles inside this marshmallow have puffed up to match the low air pressure on this high mountain. Where the air pressure's on the decline, the egg isn't feeling so fine. One watermelon plus low air pressure equals some fantastically fat fruit. One cold mountaintop means ice water for everyone. At sea level, this marshmallow is ready for roasting. One egg in perfect harmony with its environment. Just the right air pressure for a tasty watermelon snack. This water is right at home at sea level. Tons of sea water add up to a lot of pressure on a little marshmallow. You made a high pressure underwater omelet. 
this poor watermelon can't stand up to the deep sea pressure. That bottle didn't stand a chance under all that deep sea pressure. Here's what Mars looks like from outer space. All those little bumps and dips are really gigantic volcanoes and craters. Mars is red because of all of the rusty iron on its surface. The northern hemisphere of Mars has rocky plains, and the southern hemisphere has lots of craters. Hold on to your hat, because we're flying over the Mariner Valleys, or Valles Marineris. This roller coaster is really a system of canyons, almost ten times longer than the Grand Canyon, and twice as deep. If it were on Earth, it would stretch all the way from New York to California. You're traveling around Phobos, one of Mars' two moons. Phobos circles around Mars once every seven hours. That gives Martian moon gazers two chances to see it in a given day. Phobos is tiny compared to Earth's moon. Also, it's potato-shaped instead of round like Earth's moon. That's because it doesn't have enough gravity to make it round. One of the most striking things about Phobos is the giant Stickney Crater. It was probably created when a huge asteroid or meteor crashed into it. At roughly half the size of Phobos, Deimos is the smaller of the two Martian moons. It takes Deimos about 30 hours to make one trip around Mars. Here's what Mars looks like from outer space. Giant Jupiter is the biggest planet. It's made up completely of gases and doesn't have a solid surface. Ah, yes. The sun is at the center of our solar system and all the planets circle around it. Just think, our life on Earth is made possible by energy from the sun. Introducing Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. Mercury has no air because the sun's gravity pulls it all away. Ah, the mysterious Venus, surrounded by thick clouds. It's so hot on Venus during the day that a lead cannonball would melt. If you're going to get thirsty, Earth is the place to be. It's the only planet with liquid water on its surface. This is the fourth planet from the sun, and guess what? We're standing right on it. Did I hear you say Mars? Most of the asteroids in our solar system can be found orbiting the sun between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This area is called the asteroid belt. Rings around the planet, rings around the planet, Saturn, Saturn, all spin round. You're looking at Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun. So far, we've discovered 18 moons around Uranus, and we're still counting. There's no planet as petite as Pluto in our solar system. Why, it's smaller than Earth's moon. Pluto is the farthest planet from the sun. There's no time for napping on Neptune. Watch out for high-speed winds that will knock your socks off on the eighth planet from the sun. Welcome to Space Puzzles. Drag the puzzle pieces into the frame to see the sights of Mars. To work on a new puzzle, just click the arrows at the top of the screen. Medium. 